Hey there, welcome back guys. Special thanks to FPV Unknown um, for sharing the rates for the Pavo Pico that can be put into beta flight. As you can see, the GPS is loaded here. You wanna wait for the GPS to load before you plug in the battery and the only way to do that is to connect it to the uh, um, computer. So as you can see, because if you have it connected to the goggles, it'll overheat and then you basically lose out on the flight. If there's a better way, please do share. And of course, as you can see, you wanna make sure you turn on the RC controller. I'm gonna turn on my goggles now in the meantime. Uh, this is great. I, I, can, I can't express thanks anymore because now I'm able to fly and control the drone, I'd say 80% better than before. But this is outdoors. Indoors, if you guys know the settings for indoors, that would be great. All right, so here's the drone. It's armed and dangerous because I'm the pilot in command, but all in all, uh, in open spaces, I seem to do pretty well. Um, so as you can see, the GPS didn't load here on this flight, um, but you'll see it on the next half that it actually loads really well. And as you can see with these new rates, it's just phenomenal. The drone does a little, does go a little bit slower, but as you get better, um, and you know, this is angle mode. You wanna be in angle mode in the beginning, or you can just, um, you know, jump right into the, the waters and, 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 you know, and whatever, works best for you. I was trying to fly through here like I normally do with the Avada, but I was like, it was a no-go. So, but I was able to maneuver around it. And I think, you know, once I'm able to get better control of things, I can definitely do this same flight. I mean, my goal is to do the same flight I do on the Avada and then maybe unbox, unbox one of the other drones I've had for a few months now, but it's not gonna happen anytime soon because I don't wanna crash it. And the hardest thing is landing this thing. Um, so on that note, so you can see the GPS loaded on this flight, which is great. Again, I'm in angle mode, but if you look to the right, you can see it tells you how many rotations per second the propellers are going, which is really cool because then if you can gauge that to a nice comfort level, um, you know, you can get better control of the drone. Don't let it go over 52 or leave it at 44 or whichever works best for you. Anyway, so this is just a sample flight with the new rate, which is great. As you can see, it just works well for the beginner. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.